Hi, my name is Tim Kang. I'm the Principal Engineer of Color and Imaging for Quasar Science. I'm here to discuss the RGBX Spectral Science Color Engine in the Rainbow 2 and Double Rainbow series of products. I'd like to introduce the RGBX Spectral Science Color Engine. It's the result of years of research into the physics and control of light. We have five different channels in the products that are red, green, blue, 2000 Kelvin, and 6000 Kelvin. We've analyzed the spectrum of these diodes to produce more than a billion combinations of color. These combinations of color are really different spectral outputs that have been optimized to give you the best possible spectrum for any given color combination that the light can produce. So what can you do with more than a billion colors? Well, first of all, let's talk about the whole white light region of all those billion colors, all right? So first of all, we've calibrated our lights to the same standards that camera sensors are calibrated to. These standards are called the TM30 Reference Illuminant Series. So from 1750 Kelvin to 10,000 Kelvin, there's a certain spectral standard that we aspire to, and we've maximized the SSI of every single diode combination that you can possibly get. So in addition to spectral calibration, we've also calibrated the divisions between the orange end of the range, which is 1750 Kelvin, all the way to the blue end of the range, which is 10,000 Kelvin. We've given you the most minimal and even distribution of color increments in the manual control. This is called a just noticeable difference based control, or JND for short. So JNDs are a psychophysics research based idea that gives you the control you need for CCT. So in addition to the orange and blue axis of control, we've also given you the best possible green magenta axis of control, which is plus and minus green. We've calibrated it to the traditional plus and minus green gels. But we've improved upon them because they cool and warm off your color temperature in addition to changing your green or magenta shifts. Instead, we maintain the CCT so when you add plus green, you add minus green, you don't have any unintended shifts of your CCT in camera. Now, about the rest of these billion colors. We researched the colorimetry and the spectral fingerprints of saturated color lighting filters for the smoothest and most evenly saturated color palette control. And you get the best possible spectrum for each color point. We figured out how to use the 2000 Kelvin and the 6000 Kelvin diodes to optimize the spectral mixes for yellows, oranges, violets, and magentas to better match their lighting gel targets. In addition, we've created a revolutionary built-in feature to simplify the difficult process of photographically exposing saturated color light. Hue intensity equalization, or HIE for short, always works under the hood to balance the entire color wheel's output with your chosen white light output. This even exposure guides you in setting intensity levels for your saturated colors and eliminates the unpleasant surprise of clipped color channels in post-production. So, what if you don't want the fullest possible spectrum for each color? What if you want a bad spectrum for each color? Our industry-first spectrum control feature grants you the full ability to control the spectrum of any color point that the RGBX LEDs can produce with a single parameter. 100% gives you the optimal spectral fingerprint and 0% gives you the spikiest RGB only spectral fingerprint. If you don't have a fancy spectrometer to dial this in, the onboard manual status screen provides live visual feedback of the current colors, spectral fingerprint, as well as its color metric parameters. Thanks for tuning in. This is Tim Kang with Quasar Science.